What's going on guys? It's Austin from 3 Guys Tech and here I'm just going to bring you guys my first impression of Google Project Glass. Now if you haven't seen the video already, it's in the description down below. But basically, Google just released this video a few days ago. It's just a two minute uh, kind of teaser trailer of what their new project actually is. So basically it just starts off, you know, this guy waking up in the morning. It's a first person perspective of what the guy actually sees. And so he wakes up on his couch and the first thing he does is he put on he puts on his Google glasses. Now basically what Google Glass does is incorporate all of the Google services that we already use such as location maps and all that stuff into a single device and that device actually goes on your face. Uh, if you want to think about it, it's kind of like a Bluetooth kind of feature thing, but basically it's kind of like an augmented reality thing. Uh, you can call your friends, you know, take pictures. And basically what they went over in that video or the teaser, they showed different services such as, uh, well, first of all, he could take pictures with it. One big thing was Google locations. Uh, apparently it knew where he was going. Google Plus, Google locations, Google Maps, all that incorporated into this uh, one device. Now again, like you saw, I just had these on. It's gonna be something like this. It's eyeglasses that you put on your face, except it's probably not gonna have these lenses on them. But anyways, uh, basically, again, it's an augmented reality type of thing. So in the corner of your eye, you can see these notifications. It's kind of like you have a personal tablet, but on the go and on your face at all times. So it can give you notifications of when somebody calls and things like that. It can take pictures. It can give you directions and other things like that. But I just wanted to touch on a few points. Um, basically, the video speaks for itself, but there's a couple things that I just want to address. Now, this seems like a really good idea, and I've been reading some articles, and they said that if it was released, then the price point would be around like $250, which I can completely see. But I just have a couple concerns, such as, would it have like storage capacities or how would that work? Would that be, you know, built in flash memory or cloud based computing since it is, you know, connected to all these Google services such as uh, locations and maps? Um, and with these Google services, I'm guessing, you know, it will run on 4G since you're going to be taking these wherever you want to go. So would it be running on, you know, Verizon 4G LTE or something like that? And would it require a data service? Now, Data services um, usually take up a lot of battery, and since it's just a small device that you put on your face, I really didn't see much of anything. So where would the battery go? Um, that's another thing that I'm wondering. How would the battery life on this device seem? Now, all in all, it seems like a really cool project, this uh, Google Project Glass. You know, it's kind of like we're in the future because uh, people have been dreaming about stuff like this for a pretty long time now. And now to actually see it is pretty amazing because if you really think about it, it's actually not that far away. The technology is there. It's just how we implement it because we already have all of these services. We just have to put them on to the product. And that gets me into another uh, subject. I really don't understand how you would actually use the um, glasses because in the video we saw, you know, he could get alerts and notifications, but... That's a little dangerous because think about it. If you're driving and it says, oh, somebody just called you, it's going to kind of pop up right in your face and, you know, get in an accident. But besides from that, I don't see how you could actually use notifications and things like that. So because since it was from a first person's perspective, we didn't see if he was tapping something on his face or whether it's eye gestures and getting into eye gestures, that just seems kind of borderline uh, doing a little bit too much. It wouldn't really be, you know, that easy to use. So I'm really interested to see how this project unfolds for Google and what they have in the future. So um, tell me what you guys think about this uh, project glass in the comments below. Do You guys think it's a good idea. One, do you think it's safe? You know, we have enough privacy with it. Also, do you think the name is fitting? Of course, you know, this is the first time we're hearing about it. So the name is, of course, you know, pending to change. But what do you think of the name? And just about, you know, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. This is just a quick first impressions video of Google Project Glass. This is Austin from 3Guys Tech, and I'll catch you guys in my next videos.